Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, just give us a couple minutes. I'm going to be here with uh, Mayela Rojas Sanchez in just a few minutes. She's going to join us. There she is. Give me a minute here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? So good to see good, you, thanks. Matisse. <laughs> yes, nice to see you. Um, so I'm just going to, this is the first Instagram live that I've done. So let me just briefly introduce myself. I'm Matisse Ventura Brewer. I'm the um, director of racial and gender equity here at the YWCA South Florida. And I'm here with Maela Rojas Sanchez. Um, and just, you know, introduce yourself and tell us a little <laughs> bit about what you do, how you're related to the YWCA. Well, um, I will say that, can you hear me well? Yeah, I will say that I'm the newest board member of YWCA of South Florida. Um, as you know, I am uh, the co-founder of Media Vista Group that has Univision affiliates stations in Kansas City and Minneapolis and uh, former owner of Univision in the Southwest Florida market. So. I was a very close also to the South Florida, uh, Miami, which is composed by Dade and Broward uh, counties as well. So I decided to move to Miami and uh, uh, this year, and I got by surprise by the CEO, Kerry and Royce to be invited to become part of the YWCA of South Florida. And I feel super passionate because of a topic that we are going to be talking, especially uh, we are celebrating the Hispanic Heritage Month. It's starting on September 15. Uh, this celebration holds for a month and uh, Latina women, we, need to be empowered and also we need to know what are the rights and also the benefits that we can have also from this great organization as it is YWCA. Thank you so much for being a part of it and thank you so much for being here today um, to kick off Hispanic uh, Heritage Month. We're very excited. Uh, there's a lot of events going around in the community and um, YWCA is very, very excited to, uh, to have you here to help kind of explain to everyone what we do and, um, you know, why we're really here for, for all women, especially Hispanic women. So, exactly. So, Matisse, um, before you ask me, because this is a conversation, and I know I have so many followers that are asking me, what is YWCA, they can get confused. They don't have like enough awareness, especially in my community, in the Latina community. Yes, so um, not to be confused with the YMCA. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we don't, we just, you know, we don't have a pool, don't have a gym, um, but we are primarily, we're a social justice organization. We are about empowering women, eliminating racism. That is what we do um, here in, we have, locations all across South Florida. Our main office um, is here in downtown Miami. We have, uh, you know, a lot of child care facilities. So we, you know, focus on um, we have Head Start, Early Head Start. That's one of the ways that we are really here for uh, our black and brown communities. It's a lot of our families that we support are um, single parents and almost all of like 97% are uh, um, people of color. So, you know, we're here, we're in the community. We also have a lot of economic empowerment programs that mm -hmm. we um, have ongoing, which are really exciting. Uh, we360, if anyone out there is an entrepreneur interested in learning more, check us out um, our website and we have more information there as well. So. Exactly, something that 
it really uh, touched me, Matisse, about getting involved with uh, YWCA. It is uh, um, the breast cancer awareness. As you know, as you may know, uh, breast cancer is one of the leading causes of death among Latinas. So um, the the wellness program that you guys have that is being established for over 20 years. It is amazing because it, it offer like uh, screenings, uh, mammograms, uh, cervical exams, pap smears. And, and this is great because uh, the awareness is not only about the organization, it's the awareness about how Latinas always were facing with the struggles like breast cancer, like uh, unemployment, like lower rates paid in the salaries. And, uh, and this is an organization that really offers services. And we need to know how we can access those and how we can be involved. Yeah, so our family wellness is, is as you said, mm -hmm. it's a great program. Um, it is, um, we actually, you know, we coordinate, we facilitate, and we kind of hold people's hands sort of through the process. Um, a lot of people, especially Latinas, are underemployed or underinsured. So for people who don't have that easy access, who don't have their regular position, mm -hmm. getting access or using our family wellness program is going to be, um, we're trying to fill in the gap between those. Uh, obviously, you know, we wish we had, everyone had access to quality health care, but in, until we do, you know, that's what our family wellness program is for. Uh, and everything is online as well on our website if you need more information. Exactly. If someone wants to, it's between the ages, because this is important to say, uh, ages between 20 years old and 49 years old, they want to get a free screening. Maybe they don't have the money. As, as you know, a lot of Latinas, they, they live below the poverty line and they really want to be seen, what do they need to do? They go to the website and they can subscribe and then they can have yeah. their exam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So Yeah, and we're, and, you know, I also, as soon as you go to our website, you want to sign mm -hmm. up for the newsletter because we have, anytime we're having events, uh, that's going to be in there as well. And, um, you know, anytime that there's an update. And especially in the month of October, which uh, we uh, celebrate the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And many of the ones that are watching this live, um, they know that I've been devoted to this cause from Southwest Florida when I was doing an event that was called Fashion for Her. And it was to raise money along with the American Cancer Society to just not only create awareness, but also to offer help to, to many women that, you know, Latinas, sometimes we say, no, we're not gonna get sick. We, we're healthy, we need to take care of our kids. We don't have time to go to the doctor. We don't have even time to do a selfie screening. So if we have an organization like YWCA, we need to take advantage of that. So, so that is important. And I think it's a message, Matisse, that we need to give, especially in this Hispanic Heritage Month. Definitely. Celebration. Yes, yes. yes. Um, something that also we wanted to talk is about the, um, what has been happening with the economic impact of COVID um, in the workforce place with Latinas. And um, as you may know, um, the UCLA Latino Policy and Politics Initiative did a study that it says that Latina women lost their job. They became unemployed more than any other race between 2020 and now 2021. So this is, this is crazy because how we can do something in our local in, in, 
you know, grassroots efforts and, and why WCA is doing a crucial initiative. Well, many, but let's mention some. So let's talk a little bit about how we can empower uh, not only in the economical aspect, but also if we have a small business or if we are unemployed, how YWCA can help us? Yeah, so a couple of different ways. I mean, if you have just 40 minutes of time, right? So something that we're participating in is the 40 by 40, which is, mm -hmm. um, you know, Meghan Markle started that. And it's basically a an opportunity, you know, taking some time to look around in your own circle, your own sphere. Is there somebody who is an entrepreneur or somebody starting out in business, a woman who might need, you know, um, maybe you can spend a little bit of time, look at her resume, or you can spend a little time doing a mock interview. That's just a small way that you can kind of participate mm -hmm. with in your own sphere, your own circle. Um, and, and beyond that, the YWCA has other programs that are, you know, more of a formalized program like We360, Teen360, and our Women's Success Fund which are there to really help women as they um, start their entrepreneurial program. We have a lot of skills and um, women in tech is another program that we are um, dedicated to introducing 300 mm -hmm. women through, into the workforce through upskilled program um, or uh, just, yeah, upskilled and training program. So that's something we're really excited about. We're working with the, Economic Justice Council um, to help find meaningful employment and placements once they come out of our program. And something that is important for us as Latinas is uh, the continuing education. We um, we come from a culture, Matisse, that our parents wanted to see us not only succeed, but also to go to university, to continue and develop our passion for different careers. So something that I was uh, very pleased is to see the initiative YWeb, which is uh, a career uh, academy, not only to uh, service program that train Latinas and other women of color to become maybe designers or web developers, but also is in partnership with google.org. So mm -hmm. I, I'm like, okay, and this is not only to say, okay, we have opportunity to work in these organizations through an organization like YWCA, but also increase the diversity and the opportunities. So I think the message with this live, Matisse, is just to tell everyone that there are organizations that are working for us, like YWCA, and we need to take advantage. The problem yeah. here is we don't ask for help even because we are afraid because as you know many latinas they come but they are looking for a work sponsor h1 visa labor certification they don't know we know that we don't give immigration uh counseling but business one wise economical wise wellness uh, programs, they can, we can create a, a group of Latinas and they can say, yes, I belong to an organization like YWCA that really helps me and also helps my kids. Yeah. And that's, that's really what we're trying to do is we're trying to form basically the backbone society. We're trying to be the organization that brings resources together and um, something that you'll see, our, our website is in the a process of um, revamping. We're going to be yeah. adding new sites, adding new resources, because that's really what we want to do. We want to people to know that we're here, we're in the community, what programs we offer, how you can get involved, how you can help, and we're really, really excited about that. And um, we can't forget to mention uh, you're going to be doing another event tomorrow, right? Yes. I'm super excited because of my the sister station of Miami, Univision 23, 
in their Facebook page, we are going to have a great conversation with uh, Javier Romero, who is super famous, and, and we love him for many, many years. And, uh, you know, the president of Miami-Dade Community College, is that mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, she's going to be talking as well. So we're going to have in Spanish, in Espanol, a conversation about YWZA why uh, we can be, become part of, and also something very important. We need to create awareness about not only the brand, but also the services that um, you guys provide and that now I feel super proud to be part of. Well, we are so happy to have you and thank you so much for having this conversation with me today and anybody uh, isn't following you should follow both um Myla and the ywca south florida and you know check out our, our linkedin everything else um and uh please check back on our website we are going to be doing a lot of updates and also the newsletter i love it so yes. if people sign up i mean the first mm -hmm. thing that they need to do is just follow us on instagram and they can see the amazing job we do not only in the visual aspect, the colors that we use and the services that we provide, but also we always take people to our history. This is an organization that has 100 years. It's not two years, three years, it's 100 years. So we have a lot of history. And throughout the years, we've been empowering women of colors and women in minority. And this time, Latinas, especially this month, we need to participate. So this is the call. We need to invite them. Then they need to sign up for the newsletter because in the newsletter, yeah. We have a lot of information. Like, for example, yesterday we had the equal pay. And we mm -hmm. see information, national information, national numbers about how Latinas, we are underpaid in, in, in not only corporate America, everywhere in the United States. So we need to be informed so we can be a voice. Otherwise, yeah. you know, we don't have a point. And that's something else that, um, that the YWCA that we're working on as well yes. is not only building um, the internal capacity, you know, we everyone can be an advocate in their own life, in their own way. And that is something that people can learn through our 21 day challenge, which we're starting up again next year in February, as well as our Beyond 21 um, education series. So those are other ways that people, individuals can get involved. And beyond that, something that we do as well is try to work at the root of those problems, you know, the advocacy side, the policy side, that's something we do with um, YWCA National, the USA, and um, hopefully, you know, we'll be having some uh, day of actions coming up for um, Week Without Violence in October, mm -hmm. so just, yeah, join the newsletter, that way you stay up to date on what's going on, how you can take part, and how we can hopefully move the needle on some of these issues that are facing Latinas and other um, women of color. Exactly. And if you guys, uh, I see many people, not only from Southwest Florida, where my Univision station was and the Latinos, but also I see many from Venezuela, from my country, that are joining this live. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. I, I love it. If you want to know more information, you can DM me like direct message <laughs> and I know Matisse and all the staff and my super friend the CEO Carrie Ann uh, will we'll plan will continue planning communication tools to give you more information about YWCA and how you can get benefit from all the services that we provide to Hispanic women and women in color and then before we go what are you doing to celebrate well, <laughs> you know, Hispanic Heritage Month, it's, it's an amazing month. Uh, it started many, many years ago, and, uh, and now it became more 
you know, a national celebration and, and the local markets always do different things. So this year I'm going to visit Kansas City, Univision Kansas City, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce there. They always do a great gala where all the businesses uh, from the Hispanic community uh, get together and, um, and, you know, they celebrate. So this is something that I'm doing. Um, I'm super happy to be um, now in Miami because you can see, you can live and breathe yeah. the diversity and inclusion. Um, Naples was my hometown for 26 years. I go every week. And uh, the community grew from 10% to, I will say, 35%. But how did it grow? It, it grew because of the cohesive information. Yeah. Uh oh, I think we lost. There you go. Oh. I'm here. You're back. Yeah, okay. you're back. So people wanted to participate, and that is the way a community grows. So hopefully yeah. the YWCA community will continue to grow, especially yeah. with Latino here. women. Yeah, we're excited to be here. We're part of the community, and we are excited to hopefully, as you know, more and more people continue to get vaccinated, to get back out in the community and back out in person because we miss everybody. So Exactly. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Matisse. Thank you so much. And tomorrow we're going to be live on Facebook at Univision 23, Univision 23. May I say this in Spanish, Matisse? Of course, of course. Bueno, quiero invitarlos a todos los que están aquí, que hablan español, en este um, Instagram Live, that tomorrow, uh, en Univision 23, um, I think it's going to be like at uh, 11 or 10.45, it will be in the morning. We are going to have a conversation con Javier Romero sobre el poder de las latinas sobre Hispanic Heritage Month and of course about the services of YWCA. I use the Spanish. I mean perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much. Matiz. Yeah, have a good day. You take care. Bye. Bye everybody. Thank you.